It's a beautiful but very warm summer day here in New York City. Right now I'm relaxing along the Hudson River before I head out for dinner this evening. I'll be dining at a restaurant called Vestry. It's in Soho, it has a Michelin star, and it's primarily a seafood restaurant. Now I've been wanting to attend Vestry for a while, but like a lot of Michelin starred restaurants, it's a bit expensive. But it's currently restaurant week and Vestry is participating. Now their restaurant week menu online seems like a very good deal, but sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. Now it may seem like a restaurant's offering some of their signature courses for a very good price, but when you actually get it, the portion size has been reduced significantly to make up some of those costs with the restaurant week prefix menu. But who knows, every restaurant approaches restaurant week differently. This may end up being a very good deal or not. We will see. But either way, I'm very excited to finally be visiting Vestry. Let's go to dinner. Vestry is the product of fine dining chef Sean Hergott, who opened the establishment in 2020. A year later, Vestry earned its Michelin star. Inside, the restaurant is beautifully decorated and has a sort of modern art deco feel that extends not just to the room, but to the place setting and even the uniforms worn by the wait staff. I really like the chairs. The fur leg covers draped over them were not only comfortable to sit on, they were massively fun to touch. Vestry is mainly a seafood focused restaurant, but it has Japanese influences and a tremendous respect for vegetables. For restaurant week, a three course prefix menu for $60 is offered. I was also provided with the regular dinner menu, and I noticed that some of the restaurant week offerings differed from how they're usually presented. Not long after ordering, the bread arrived. It was a hot and fresh loaf of sourdough presented with a miso kombu butter. The bread by itself was simply wonderful. It had a crispy crust with a chewy and flavorful center, but it was the miso kombu butter that took it to the next level. The butter had a strong umami and salty flavor to it, which I really enjoyed. While I was at Vestry mainly for the restaurant week menu, I also ordered the Big Eye Tuna from the bite section on the regular dinner menu. It consisted of raw tuna with tarragon on top of a fish-shaped potato crisp. Presentation-wise, this simple snack was a winner, but it also delivered on flavor. The tuna was of great quality, but the combination of the crunchy chip and the flavors it maintained equated to a truly fantastic bite. Next up was the first dish I ordered off the restaurant week menu, the sushi rice, which contained egg yolk, shiso, and fresh chives. It's hard to describe just how satisfying this simple rice course was, but I absolutely loved it. The rice by itself was delicious, but all the other components added even more to the plate, creating a very comforting and addictive bowl of food. However, I do feel that this course would have worked better as a side rather than as a starter, but I still really enjoyed it. For my entree, I got the Atlantic salmon with baby fennel, wakame, and cilantro. The sauce was served table side, which certainly added to the overall presentation. The salmon was cooked to a perfect medium rare, but also maintained a nice crispy skin on top. I liked the sharp green color provided by the wakame, but it also served as a nice complement to the fish, along with the baby fennel and cilantro. In summation, my salmon was very satisfying. To conclude my dinner, I chose one of Vestry's most famous desserts, the homemade cheesecake with honeycrisp apples and hazelnuts. Appearance-wise, this dish is truly iconic. The actual cheesecake is in the form of a Swiss cheese wedge. The mouse is crafted from apples, ginger, and cinnamon, with hazelnuts serving as the ears and an egg noodle for the tail. It's fun, clever, and beautiful. I can't say that I've ever been this happy to see a mouse in NYC before, let alone in a restaurant. But this dish is not just about the visual appeal, it tasted incredible as well. The cheesecake had the smoothest texture and the apples and ginger provided a pleasant sweetness and spice. It was a great ending to a very pleasurable meal at Vestry. That was a phenomenal dinner. I loved everything I had, the service, the decor, the restaurant, the atmosphere. That was a great dinner. Even though the restaurant week menu was a bit different from the regular menu, I still enjoyed everything on it. I still felt that it was a good deal, despite the fact that it was different. 
All in all, I think Vestry is a great restaurant. They really deserve their one Michelin star, and I would love and can't wait to go again.